the Big Picture Interactive Bible Stories in 5 Minutes The Big Picture Interactive Bible Stories in 5 Minutes Finding the Lost from Luke 15 Each of these three stories tells about how one who was lost was found again and of how God searches for those who wander away. Jesus came to teach all people about the kingdom of God, especially those who were sinners. But not everyone was happy about this especially the Pharisees and scribes. One day, the Pharisees and the scribes were grumbling about Jesus. He talks to sinners, they exclaimed, and he even eats with them. So Jesus told them this parable, a story with a special meaning. If a man has one hundred sheep and loses one, what does he do? He leaves the ninety-nine to search for the lost one. When he finds it, he puts it on his shoulders and happily carries it home. Then he calls out to all his friends and neighbors, Come and celebrate with me. I've found my lost sheep. It's the same way in heaven, said Jesus. There is more joy over one sinner who turns back to God than over the ninety-nine who didn't turn away from him. Then Jesus asked, if a woman has ten silver coins and loses one of them, what does she do? She lights a lamp, sweeps out the whole house, and searches everywhere until she finds it. And when she does find it, she calls all her friends and neighbors together and say, Be happy for me! I found my lost coin. In the same way, Jesus said to the Pharisees and scribes, The angels in heaven celebrate over one sinner who turns back to God. Jesus then told them this parable about a father and his two sons. A man had two sons. One day, the younger son said to his father, Father, give me my share of your fortune now. This made the father very sad, but he gave the son his share of the family's fortune. Just a few days later, the younger son gathered up all his belongings and left. He traveled to a far away country where he wasted all his money on foolish living. After the younger son had spent all his money, a terrible famine stuck that land. He had no money and no food and no friends. He had to go to
to work in the fields feeding pigs. He was so hungry that he longed to eat the pig's food, but no one would even give him any of that. One day, the son said to himself, I am dying of hunger, but even my father's servants have more than enough food to eat. I'll go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against you and against heaven. I'm not worthy to be called your son. Just let me be like one of your servants. Then the son got up and began the long journey back home to his father. While the son was still a long way off, his father saw him coming, and his heart was filled with love and compassion. The father ran to him, threw his arms around his neck, and kissed him. Father, the son said, I have sinned against you and against heaven. I'm not even worthy to be called your son. But his father called to his servants and said, Quick, bring out the best robe and put it on my son. Bring a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet. Then kill the fattened calf and let's have a great feast to celebrate. My son was lost to me, but now he is found again. And so they began to celebrate. Now the older son had been out in the fields. When he came home, he heard all the music and dancing. What's going on? He asked one of the servants. Your younger brother has come home, the servant told him. And your father is having a great feast to celebrate because he has his son back safe and sound. But the older brother wasn't happy. He was angry, and he refused to go into the feast. His father came out and pleaded with him to come in. But the brother said, I have worked for you for years. I've done everything you've ever asked. But you never gave me even a young goat to have a small feast with my friends. But when the son who took your money and left comes home, you have a great feast for him. My son, the father said, everything I have is yours, but I had to celebrate. Your brother was lost to me, but now he is found. Jesus didn't come to save only the good people or the people who already know about God. He came to save all who turn from sin and trust in Him. Even when we were still sinners, He died for you and me. Now He calls us to trust Him as Savior and obey Him as Lord. The Son of Man has come to seek and to save the lost. Luke 19.10